Hi, my infinite beings. I'm Infinite B. As you guys know, it's 2021. So let's start this year off right. Let's start this year off manifesting because right now, you guys, it's the optimal time for manifesting. Like, seriously, don't let them lie to you, okay? Right now is the golden time, okay? We are living in a golden age right now. And I want you guys to get the most out of it. So I'm bringing you guys this manifestation video because I want you guys to manifest, all right? There's so much to have out here, you guys. Like, right now, we're living in a golden age. And, you know, despite the way things are looking, right now is prime time. Like, I mean, prime time for manifestation, you guys. Let's get into it. Now, there are two ways that you can go about making a vision board. There's many ways that you can go about make, making a vision board. But the two ways you can do it is by having one vision board for multiple things. Now, usually in this type of a vision board, you want to put like items together. So let's say, for instance, you're trying to manifest something in your career or something money-wise, you'll have that on one part of the vision board. If you're trying to manifest like a relationship or marriage, you'll have that on another part of the vision board, traveling, you know, and so on and so So many different types of ways to make a vision board. Don't let someone tell you that the way you're doing it is wrong. You don't know what you're doing there is no wrong way you have to put your feeling and your passion into it that's why when people have little vision board parties they're not telling you that your emotions need to go into it okay first vision board is basically manifesting certain things that i desire um traveling is one of them okay like you see my suitcase you see the world like i want to travel the world you guys and 2020 like i did go to cuba right before all of this stuff happened um and i did also travel to atlanta don't tell anybody um but yeah so i did travel but it wasn't to the extent that i wanted to okay like a lot of trips were to jersey um, right across the water so you know i want to travel so that's one there you see my airplane um so yeah like certain things that you want to manifest you're going to put on here see how it says travel you're going to look at this every single day um and here it says born in brooklyn made with love so you know even though i'm born here in brooklyn guess what i want to travel outside of brooklyn um so yes health of course this is a main theme for this year, staying fit, fitness. As you guys know, I did the Chloe Ting challenge, or some of you may, may not know. I did the Chloe Ting challenge um, from, I think, May of last year until now. So I'm still doing her challenges. Um, I had to stop because I had a little injury to my finger, but I just started back with her new challenge. So yes, fitness has been big, like health, you guys. You have to focus on your health. So if you weren't putting health on your vision board before, try putting it on now because right now like you need to be healthy okay if not now more than ever people need to focus on their health and focus on maintaining a healthy lifestyle whatever that looks like for you like everybody's not going to be vegetarian like me and everybody's not going to be vegan like how i used to be um you know you have to see what works for you and what makes you feel good and what makes you healthy but yeah so like little things you can put on there beauty um growing strong because i'm always trying to get stronger when i'm working out um like my goals basically is fitness and um strength so i like to have toned muscles you know i like my arms to look toned a lot of people just want to be slim but that's never really just my um goal of course you guys know i love my curves and my hips and everything but i really really like to be strong like to get my legs stronger and do exercises that are going to work out those muscles so that's why you see fitness on here a lot because it's very important for me to stay fit and for me to stay healthy put more happy into your new year you guys you have to like i know you know some people have faced challenges in the past year but we're in a new year okay we're focused on the new we're focused on the future and we're manifesting for our future so yeah this is my first vision board now the next style of vision board you guys can do is focus on one particular thing right so i never used to do this before but something just made me do it like i just got the impulse as abraham hicks esther hicks would say I got the impulse to do this and I'm like, let me just put the one thing that I'm really, really, really trying to manifest this year 
on one vision board and give it its own little vision board. So here it is, moving. And I even put 2021 on there, you guys. I am manifesting a house. So I think this is a great idea for somebody who is trying to manifest a house or a car or whatever it is you're trying to manifest. Like if you can just focus on that one thing itself, not have a bunch of things on that vision board that are not related to that, you are more primed in your subconscious and you're going to draw it to you. I'm telling you, you're going to attract it. So this is the reason why I did this like this because I'm just like, this is the main material thing that I'm trying to manifest. Of course, fitness, health and stuff like that, you see the results of it after, but this is like the main thing that I'm manifesting right now, you guys. So yes, I decided to give it its own vision board. And as you guys know that last year I posted a, a different type of vision board where I put this in a frame and I had a picture of a house, I had a picture of a pool because you guys know I need a pool and I actually just put Long Island on there but I decided to do this. Why not? Why not give it its own physical and it says move it in, you know, the beach because I have to go to the beach. You guys know I love the beach and yeah, I just put things on there that pertain to my moving in and yeah i really feel like doing it this way is a great way to do it like so you can put whatever you want on yours but what you want to do is look at it every day and have it in a place where you're going to see it constantly so for this one i have it directly underneath my tv my tv is mounted on the wall so i have it right under my tv where i can see it every day right i can see it while i'm even watching tv so i'm constantly looking at it so it's always going to be in my mind and my subconscious mind is telling the universe i'm ready i'm ready to move in where's my keys you know so you might want to do a vision board for something that you're trying to manifest all on its own okay give us its own little vision board it doesn't have to be huge like as you guys can see i've downsized a lot because my last vision board um took over my entire wall and I had to get rid of it. Um, but yeah, so now I said, you know what? Let me just do a small vision board for just this, okay? I need to just focus on this one thing and that's it. So that's why it got its own special vision board because this is the primary thing that I'm trying to manifest this year. As you guys know, I'll link the video in the, this, um, in the info card where I manifested my Mercedes. I manifested so many different things, you guys, and those things were all on my vision boards. Um, so I'm a firm believer in vision boards. Like I manifest fast when I see it, when it's a visual object and stuff like that. Now, some of you might say, well, I'm trying to manifest love. I'm trying to manifest having a child. Well, I got something for you too. I know some of you guys are like, wait, wait, wait. How can I use a vision board to manifest a man, manifest a woman, manifest a husband, manifest a wife, manifest a child? Guess what, you guys? All of these things are in books. All of these things have pictures associated with them. We sometimes often think of these things as abstract things, okay? Like, there's no tangible thing. There's no tangible way to show this. Yes, there is, you guys. You guys can get magazines and cut things out of them, okay? You see here? This is my other vision board, you guys, okay? As you guys know, I'm manifesting my wedding, my marriage, my engagement even, all of this. So this is all on here. As you guys can see rings, you guys can see a couple that looks kind of like me and mother. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so you can actually put this all on a vision board and make it your own, you guys. Like you don't have to have this. Um, I probably will be manifesting twins because I've been saying I'm gonna manifest a twin. Um, twins, as you guys know, I'm a twin, so <laughs> it's probable. <laughs> Um, yeah, so if you guys want to have a child, like say for instance, you're trying to have a child and you know, you keep trying and you can't use this, okay? The law of attraction is going to work for you, okay? That is what it does. Your vibration is going to be putting out that energy and that's what's going to happen. 
okay so you want a family put the word family on there like as you guys can see i have a lot more words on here this time around than pictures but you can see making it legal like all of this stuff unity these words symbolize something love all of these words symbolize you know what i'm manifesting so as you guys can see mother i'm already a mother so that's not even a blockage in my mind but some of you guys may not be and you want to be one so put these things on there put babies pictures you guys see i have a little baby hair you know pacify his bottles different things that will symbolize that you guys that when you look at it you're gonna get happy inside okay you're gonna keep vibrating at happiness i want to let you guys know that your emotions when you see these things will help the manifestation come faster okay so if you're seeing these things and you're feeling kind of weird or you're feeling like oh that's not gonna happen it's not gonna work out for you you need to feel wholeheartedly like you already have this so i know some people are skeptical when it comes to the law of attraction and universal laws they don't understand how it works but i'm going to try to link some resources in this video in the description and i'll try to link some in the info cards as well because once you start doing this you guys it feels like you're on a natural high because you're on a natural high of vibrations your vibrations has have risen so high that you are now attracting good things into your life and it's something to celebrate it's something to be proud of because you are aligned with the divine you guys let me say that again you are aligned with the divine you guys so there is nothing that you cannot have ask and it is given seek and ye shall find knocking the door shall be open to you so no matter what it is just know that you deserve it so that's my next tip for you guys is knowing you deserve it okay you don't need to prove to someone else why you deserve it you don't need to say oh because my kids will be able to do this this and this you don't have to if you want to use that as your why for passion reasons to get you going and get you up off your butt then you can do that but you do not need to prove to anyone why you deserve the things that you are manifesting and nor do you need to share everything with everyone else. I can share my vision boards with you guys because my manifestation game is A1. I built that muscle. I've been doing this for 16 years. So, but you don't have to do that. If you don't feel comfortable sharing with certain family members and things like that, and I still don't share certain things with certain people um, because certain things are private, you know? Um, especially if it's like certain goals that I have fears around, I might be a little worried about it and I might say, oh, you know what? I'm not even going to tell anyone because they might put their fear onto me as well. And that's going to make me even more scared to do it. Like, oh, well, I, I remember when I tried that and this happened. A lot of people, they project their fears onto you. So sometimes I will keep things to myself. And some of you guys may have to start out doing that. Um, like I said, my mom introduced the law of attraction to me and since then i've been hooked um but i know some of you guys come from families where they may be like what is all of that like you know they don't trust it they think it's something evil so i wouldn't even tell them this like i literally would just be doing my own thing manifesting you know doing what i have to do to align myself with the frequency and the vibration of the things that i want and i want to attain and it's not always about material it's not because I have people say, oh, that's all you care about is this, this and that. Yes, I deserve anything because the, the universe is abundant. OK. And God said I should lend and not borrow. <laughs> so I feel I feel great being able to do for others. Like seriously, like I've been in a position where I had to borrow and that's not a great feeling. So now I'm in a position where I could just give to people, not even lend. like, OK, that's fine. You know, how much do you need or whatever? I can even invest. I can make investments into other people's adventures and things like that. So you want to get to that point. Okay, so you don't want to make it um, where you feel bad about manifesting the things that you desire. But it's not all about things. Okay, it's about strengthening your connection to the universe. Strengthening your connection to the, the divine. Strengthen those muscles. And this is just a tool. Vision boards are just a tool. 
one of the many tools i'll be sharing so much this is part of my manifestation series you guys i'm going to be making way more law of attraction videos because this is the prime year i'm telling you guys this is the prime year to ma manifest like if you go to any of the astrology videos any of the videos with other people they're telling you the truth you guys i know some of you guys may feel skeptical because everything else seems a little chaotic ignore the outside like you know you're a genius when you could make things happen even in chaos like seriously and genius doesn't have to mean smart but genius can mean that you are focused so so much so that things are still going to happen for you you are pulling from another place that's that divine place you guys and that's where i'm trying to have you guys come from and sometimes you get knocked off the wagon like sometimes even i might wake up in a day where i'm like you know not feeling but that's why i get centered that's why i meditate i'll link a meditation video in here i may not feel completely like myself one one day for some reason and i'm like you know what let me meditate a little longer today to get myself in the right vibration so all of this matters and i know that it can seem like a lot but just start you don't have to be perfect when you first start out you nobody's ever perfect when they're manifesting you know and that's okay because you're strengthening that muscle and these are all just tools that you will use that will help you and don't let anyone discourage you you know you know exactly what you want and i know you know what you want you know that you know that particular job that particular career that particular business is going to do what you need it to do for you you know that particular spouse that particular you know um town to live in some of you guys are trying to manifest moving all the way to another country and you're scared but guess what you can do it okay i know you can and that's the whole thing about this it's like once you get into a flow state, things will just line up for you guys. People just come out of nowhere. And you're like, oh my gosh. Like it's it's really like a revelation. Like it makes you feel like you're so connected to source. You're so connected to God that it's like, what? Like I really did that? Like the universe really got my back. Like that's how you start thinking because you're going to know it. You're going to sense it. You're going to feel it. Okay. And that's just what I wanted to share with you guys today. I know that a lot of this could be new for people and it could feel overwhelming and you're watching probably a million videos. I know you are. I know you're watching a million videos on the law of attraction, but take it easy, have grace, you know, give yourself grace and just know that you got to start. You start somewhere. It doesn't have to be perfect. Every day is a journey. I'm still learning new things, okay? I'm still learning a lot of new things, a lot of new techniques from other YouTubers, from other gurus, from other advisors. And I'm like, wow, I'm going to try that one. So this is a long journey, okay? Because the universe is vast, okay? And we're uni using universal laws. I'm actually going to speak on a lot of the other universal laws, like the law of reciprocity, um, certain things that people will need to take into account if you're going to take this metaphysical journey seriously you're going to need to know certain things so i'll share those in a future video but for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys got some value out of it if you did you guys know what to do subscribe like and i will see you guys in the next one bye